I was a teacher for five years before I went over to the tech world. I taught physics and neuroscience in the United States. And so I have huge respect and admiration uh, for the massive energy and changes that I've seen in computer science in the UK in the last two years. It's totally blown me away, like what you guys, even the last year, what you all have been doing. Um, and I'm here today to, to like, the Code Academy very much sees the same mission of um, getting computer science into more kids' hands. So they're not just consumers of technology, they're builders of technology. They're empowered, they understand how the technology that is a huge part of their life works, and they know how to make more. Um, and I'm seeing this in some of my friends as well. I had a friend email me the other day who was like, I want an app that tells me when it's gonna rain today. And I was like, what if it text messages you only if it's gonna rain? And she'd be like, that's cool too. And then I was like, okay, go find a weather API. And she went and found one, and we're gonna build the app together. Um, but this is something that she wouldn't have known how to do if she doesn't know me. And so it, it's very empowering and exciting to be able to build these applications and, and things that become a useful part of your life. Um, so many of you have used Codecademy, some of you have not. Um, those of you who have have probably taken our JavaScript lessons. We have a JavaScript interpreter that's embedded right in our website. So you don't have to read 200 pages of a book to get started. You don't have to download anything. You don't have to get GCC working, which you do if you're doing Ruby. It takes you several hours if you have the wrong install. Um, you just start coding immediately. You get to the website, you just start. Uh, and people love it, they get hooked on it because it takes this like from zero to coding, it just, just makes that ramp a little bit easier and gets people started and empowered right away. Um, and we really share the vision of, of getting code literacy that, that yes, you know, you know reading, you need to know math, sorry, maths. Um, <laughs> and you also should know a little bit about how the technology you use every day works. Um, and so I'm here today to basically see how I can be useful to you. Some of you have seen the JavaScript lessons we have on the site. We also have Python and Ruby lessons are coming soon, as well as HTML and CSS. Um, how many of you used our course creation tool? Ah, okay, so we also have this other side of our platform. We have lessons, but they're crowdsourced. They're made by people in the community. We have a tool that you can use as well to create a custom lesson that shows up just like the lessons on our site are right now. So if you're working in Python or web technologies, and we have many more languages coming soon, you can create a lesson that's custom to your curriculum and share it with your students and with students all over the world. And so I'd love to know how this tool can be useful to you and the initiatives you have going. I'd love to talk to you about it. Please come see me. I also am doing a workshop tomorrow at 11, so you're welcome to come to that as well. Please let me know how I can be useful, because our platform is completely free, um, and I would love to, to help you guys do even more exciting stuff. Uh, than you. I, I, I'm just like very excited to be here and see all the different things that people are working on. So thank you. I hope I was under seven minutes.